G'day. I'm not a happy chappy at the moment. I've had a rough weekend. First of all, I had that woman who I sacked because she pinched my stuff and I had to pay her $30,000 out of my hard-earned money. Then they tell me I've got cancer. And in the weekend, my bloody house burned down. Yeah, how's that? Not the one I'm in now, the other one. Where I brought all the kids up in that, in Ashburton. Yeah, it burned to the bloody ground. Jesus, wild. Now, what they're doing to me up here, you wouldn't believe what they're doing to me. You know what they've done? They're taking away my dignity. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to show you something there. Just hold the line a minute and I'll show you what they've done to me. <laughs> Who was that cheeky bugger? God, and what'd they do to him? Well, I'll tell you what, I'll let you in the secret. The cheeky bugger was me. I'm Ron Bishop, also known as Ronnie B. I stir up trouble around the country. That's right. And it's going to cost you ten bucks to find out what they did to me in Christchurch. Because it's part of my life story. And I'm writing it in a library. A known private library. And it costs you ten bucks to get in. That, that leaves you, uh, means you can have a look around there for, ten, for a whole year. So you YouTube readers, viewers, you'll have to get into my library to get all the story. You'll get bits and pieces, but you won't get the full story. You see, I'm holding a public inquiry into the New Zealand employment law, which is crippling small businesses in New Zealand. How do I know it's crippling small businesses? Well, I had a ring from a woman on Friday night, and she said uh, she was in a hell of a state. She had made one of her staff redundant, couldn't keep him on. Uh, he agreed to be redundant, uh, and now he went to his lawyer, and the lawyer's asking her for ten thousand dollars for hurting your feelings, hurting his feelings. It's bloody not on, hurting your feelings. Um, she told me that she wouldn't employ anybody in New Zealand ever again. In fact, she was thinking of closing down her business and going to Australia. I don't blame her. I wouldn't employ anybody in New Zealand again under this New Zealand employment law. The woman I sacked, I sacked her for dishonesty, abusive language and defaming my character. And then she sued me for wrongful dismissal. She won her case. Because the one-sided law in New Zealand is corrupt. And it's all about the employee. If you want to listen to the public inquiry that I'm holding worldwide on YouTube, you have to register on this page. I'm holding a public inquiry. Online, on Ronnie's blog, in my public library... And you'll have to register to be in there and see what's going on. If your name is listed on the blog, this blog, and I'll be talking to you and asking you questions. And if you're in the, just like you're in the room, and you can answer the questions and or make comments on the blog or on your, your YouTube. You see, because this inquiry is about a woman who took a personal grievance claim against my business, only this time I'm the prosecutor. And those I've listed on this blog are the witnesses that I'm calling in this case. The judge and jury are you, the public, the worldwide public. I'll be calling on comments from the public from time to time. Each video clip will last five to seven minutes. So you can look at one a day, come back another day, it'll still be there. Register now and tell others about this unique public inquiry. If you know any witnesses that are listed on the list on this blog, remind them that they'll be on, well, I'll be talking about them on the, on the, um, in, in the inquiry. And they need to be on there to see what I'm saying about them and have an opportunity just to say something about what they see uh, happened. 
Sorry, witnesses, but we have a law in our country that is preventing people from employing workers, and someone has to do something about it. See you soon on Ronnie B's Motivational Library. Go now, pay your 10 bucks, and I'll see you there, and we'll learn, uh, try and do something for this country, beautiful country of ours in New Zealand.